Guys, this video is for all the bloggers out there. So guys, if you are running a blog on Google Blogger and you want to improve the user engagement by sharing RSS feeds of different websites into your blog, this automation can be really helpful as here we are going to connect the RSS feed of any website in the trigger and Google Blogger in the action such that whenever there is a new RSS feed in a website, the feed will be shared to your Google Blogger automatically so that you don't have to manually copy paste the data and it will save your time. So guys, we are going to set up this automation very easily without any coding. Let's start. So we are using Pabli Connect to set up this automation and this is the landing page of Pabli and I have pasted the same link in the description as well. You can see the Black Friday sale is also going on. And guys, from here, you can set up your free Pabli Connect account and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. Okay, so you can just sign up right now. And after that, you have to sign in and reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect like this. And from here, you have to create a workflow. For that, just click on this create workflow button. Here, you can give a suitable name to your workflow as well. So I'm giving the name here as RSS Feeds to Google Blogger, right? And after giving this name, just click on create button and you can see the workflow page is loading up here. And on this page, guys, you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So with the help of these two things, we can set up any kind of automation. So basically our automations are based on you, based on the trigger and actions. Trigger means when this happens. That means when something happens in one application, action is going to make uh, Pabli Connect perform any action in another application that is called action application. Okay. So here in this use case, RSS feeds, adding of a new RSS feeds in any website is going to act as a trigger and sharing the feed on Google Blogger will be our action. So here we are going to connect RSS by Pabli feature of Pabli Connect. RSS, here it is, select this. So with the help of this, you can connect the RSS feed of any website, right? So the trigger event would be new item in feed. And here you can see this trigger is showing every 20 minutes. So this trigger is going to check in every 20 minutes if there is a new feed in the RSS website. And if there is any, the data will be fetched and the trigger will start working, okay? Let me show you. Just click on connect here. <clears throat> And here you can see it is asking for the feeds URL. So in this feed URL, you have to paste this kind of feed URL of any RSS website. Okay. Right now I am giving you the example of uh, Times of India, which is a, a news website. And this is the uh, RSS feed of this website. So let me select this business feed and I'm going to just copy this RSS URL here. You just have to copy the link address and you have to paste it here like this okay and now click on save and send test request button and the most recent feed of the business rss will be fetched here let me show you i am clicking on save and send test request button and here you can see this is the title of the feed got fetched rbi pauses onboarding of online merchants by Payium payment services okay this is a news published on this date this is the link of the feed okay and here you can see the content snippet is here, right? Let me show you the same in this actual feed, which is the business feed. All right, you can see here, this is the same headline, RBI pauses onboarding, right? Which got captured here in our workflow, right? Now guys, you can share this post on your Google Blogger. For that, we are going to use this action step and here I'm going to search for Google Blogger. Here it is, select it. And the action event would be create a post. Then click on connect here. And from here, select add new connection, then click on sign in with Google. And from this page, select the Google account by which you have created the uh, blogger account. Then you have to give Pabli Connect some access to your account. Just click on continue, that is completely safe. And the authorization will be successful and we'll be connected like this, okay? Now it is asking for the blog's ID. So this is my blog, uh, you can see, the name of my blog is my blog only. So you can select your blog's name from here. 
and here it is asking for the title the content of the blog post and all other things okay so i'm going to use this data that i have received as the test data from the rss feed and i'm going to map the labels here in this step to create a test blog post in my blogger account okay so in the title you just have to click here and the trigger step will appear here in the drop down so when you click on it it will show you the data like this and from here i'm mapping the title in the title field in the content i'm going to map the content snippet label like this and if you want to directly publish it you can uh, schedule it or you can directly make it live or you can put it in the draft section if you want to review the post okay i'm putting it in drafts so that i can review the post and then publish it from blogger okay is draft yes date of publishing these are not compulsory fields so you can leave these things blank right now and here let us create a blog, uh, test blog post by clicking on save and send test request button so click on save and send test request button and you will find a new test uh, blog post in the draft section of your blogger account this is the draft section of my blogger account and let me click on save and send test request here all right this is the response we have received uh draft is saved here let me show you that in blogger let me refresh the draft section and here you can see guys a new blog just got uh, saved here in the drafts rvi pauses onboarding this is the same title that we had here in the rss website uh, like this same got uh, saved here in the blogger account like this so this is how it is going to work guys and um, you have to set up this automation only once so once you map the uh, map the labels here what will happen every time there is a new blog uh, every time there is a new feed in the rss of any website the labels are going to change and new post will be saved in your drafts automatically right and if you want to use this workflow you can use it as i'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description and you can clone it in your own free pavli connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel